All right, right now, Chad and I are sitting in a beautiful 1969 butternut yellow Chevelle. Uh, we're gonna take this thing for a test drive, and then we're gonna get out and do a little walk around on it. Okay. We're gonna kind of do this one ass backwards. We're gonna start backwards on this thing and uh, and uh, cruise through town a little bit. There you this go. is a sweet car, Dalton. I was stuck with nothing left to drive. This car came in on trade, came in last night. I was stuck with nothing else to drive. I got locked out of the shop. And uh, this is the only thing that had the keys in it. So I drove this uh, 35 miles home, 35 miles back to work this morning without any hiccups. Everything went perfectly on it. Hooked my Bluetooth out up to this beautiful CD player. It's really super cool. Yeah, and that folds down back in too. So like when you yeah, shut, shut the thing off, that screen folds back down in. Pretty neat. Really cool. Also, I'm sure you stayed cool with Vintage Air. I did. Vintage Air conditioning. Hey, bud. Hey, hey thank, thank you. you. Hey, have a good day. You too. It's also got the Dakota digital gauges. This thing's kind of a resto mod, really. Big block under the hood. It is. Everything works. I mean, everything. It's got the digital clock, um, tack. Oil. Horn works. I just pushed it a little too hard. Um, 50 pounds of oil pressure. Temperature gauge works great. Gas gauge, amp gauge, charging. Awesome, awesome car, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Beautiful car. Let's get her going down the road. We got a lot of cars behind us. We got distracted. Sorry, guys. The other thing is quick too. Big block, 402, four barrel, uh, a little over 300 hours, 70 mile an hour, just like that. It's on the road, nice. What a great car. Yeah, it is. Really nice top too. It's got a black top, a glass back window. Really nice, brand new steering wheel, brand new dash applique. Nice interior. There we go. I think it really rides down the road nice. Both are disc brakes. Both got power disc brakes. Not only is this car, their car stops nice as well. Just like, uh, that guy stopping over at the stop sign on a busy highway just to say cool car. You know, how neat is that? I mean, that's yeah. what's so cool about a classic car. Yeah, absolutely. Especially 69 Chevelle convertible. I mean, you don't see SS that. trim, SS hood, big block under the hood. Yeah. And cold air. Really good shift, too. Yeah, it is. It sounds nice. Took this one in on a, a beautiful 61 uh, Pella bubble top that we never got a chance to do a video of. Uh, so this sold right away, but it's a really nice car. Really nice quality car. You know, when we have a super nice high quality car like the 61 Pella, it brings great cars in on trade, and that's exactly what this 1969 Chanel is. Absolutely. Could just do the walk around the old church. Oh, uh, for old time's sake. Old time's sake. We could. Yeah, what do you think? Our Let's old do it. videos. Pull in front of this little guy first. Kind of weird. I you know we haven't around. we haven't done old videos or pictures for if you've yeah, it's about years. five years probably four or five years yeah it's been a while. We're gonna do a little reminiscent out here. Yeah, the old church parking lot. It's gonna really throw people off. They're gonna be thinking it's an old video. Yeah, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Let's do it. car i love the wheels on this thing too they're like your ss rallies but they're what size is this 17s um i think they're bigger than that uh, they're 18s in the back 18s 18, yep yeah. that's neat because they look like they're your old style you know ss wheels but with a little more modern modern touch i'll tell you what that car's straight as hell ain't it yeah it is Good straight looking car straight stand i think your bumpers have been re-chromed I'll 
Look at that. Big block under the hood. There's your vintage air. Power steering, power disc brakes. Here you go. Let me take a look. Yeah, doing a good job. Brand new Napa Legend battery. Um, paint on the inner fenders is done nicely as well. It's got stock manifolds, chrome valve covers. A beautifully painted intake. This is a car you can take to any of your local car show. Hell, even a, I don't know, it's, it's a show quality car. Yeah, it is. And clearly it drives nice too. Got yeah. you home yeah. and back. Put over 100 miles on it so far. Bottom of the hood's all painted beautifully. It's got the, uh, the matting in there. Talked to a buddy of mine last night that sells classics and he sold two 69 uh, Chevelle convertibles this week. And this one's red, one's blue in the same price range. And go. I don't think they had vintage air. So the way, same price as we're gonna have this one. So I'm sure it's gonna, sure it's gonna move. As you mentioned before, the front bumper is really nice. It shines well, but if you look really close, it does have some uh, some chrome um, chipped right here on the edge and just some very, very minor uh, pitting. It could be the original. As far as the uh, headlight eyebrows and stuff too, uh, not new, but really nice shape. Gaps look really good. Both sides of the gaps are awesome front to back. Of course, it's got the Super Sport Stripe, SS396 emblems, SS hood, SS wheels, disc brakes. Bottom of that front fender fits perfectly to the, um, to the front of the door and rocker panel. Same thing with the back. I think the best thing, well, I don't say the best thing, but the thing I like the most is the, the stance of this car. Yeah, I do too. They did a nice job. They put the... The GM uh, Mark of Excellence sticker on here. Corner of the door looks good. New door panels, armrest base, uh, seat covers, dash, bezels, dome lights work under the dash. New felts, rubbers right here too. Uh, top boot is new. You can look here at the door panel on the back is original. It does have a little tear there in the uh, vinyl Dalton right by the seat. But the back seat's great. It's got uh, seat belts for two. We're actually going to use this car and most of our other convertibles in our hometown parade tomorrow. So, put some more miles on it. Yeah, buckets, council, everything works. Door shuts well. So we look up and down the side. Body's nice and straight. Back bumper looks, the bumpers look new, don't they? Yeah, they do. So you get right on top of them, you can see just a little bit of, I'm not even going to call it pitting, it's like the start of it, you know, just a little, a little age. Yeah. I like the exhaust tips. Go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. You'll see the undercarriage uh, pictures under there, jacking instructions. Bottom of uh, the trunk lid paint's just as nice as the rest of the car, just like the bottom of the hood paint. GM looks nice. Trunk's all been speckled. It's got the uh, spare jacks there. The sharp with the car, I like that color too. It's just kind of, you know, it's kind of a classy, subtle color. It really is. It's not super. It's not a super bright yellow. It's not a boring, boring yellow. It's right in between. Again, whoever did the fitment on these fenders to rocker and door did a great job. Same thing here, back of the hood, top of the door, top of the fender matches up nicely. A dual chrome mirrors. If you want to pick it apart a little bit, this is kind of the driver part of it, I guess, not like a trailer queen. Um, right here, there's a little chip here in the paint like this. Right here, if you want to look really close and pick it apart. Got a little tiny chip, this one touched up there. It's missing the rubber stopper, one of them. The other one's there. Sill plates are used, they're not new. Um, I forgot to mention the other side, but they did a nice job on the door jams and stuff. It's all painted yellow to match. No wear in the seats coming in or out. That all looks great. Steering column paint is beautiful. It's got the speakers in front. 
We got one more video to do for you guys today. The next one's going to be a 1970 Pontiac uh, GTO clone convertible. So, last one of the day. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. <clears throat> I'll put the link in the description.